All right, so here we got one of the Tillotson blocks. Um, what we're going to be doing to this is a one inch deck extension. Uh, this is the three inch bore. It's got to go out to get a sleeve. All right, so I'm not really sure where we left off. Um, what we have here is one inch decking material or billet aluminum, one inch stock. It's got plastic on it. Um, we are making the one inch deck extension for this block. It's kind of hard to hold it and do this at the same time. Um, cut it out on the bandsaw and now um, and I'm following all the angles of the block, how it slants there. You know, keeping a nice little edge to weld around. You know, the bandsaw leaves marks like that. Even that has been sanded somewhat. As you can see, the top's pretty good. And the side's pretty good. But, uh, you know, the bottom still has some marks left in it. Over here still has some marks. This might need some uh, finer, like, you know, get in there with a sand roll to get some of those, like, inter inside corners. But, um, you know, it's just, you don't want to have it all nasty looking after it's welded on. But, going to get this plate finished out right now. What I'm waiting on is, uh, the way that I do the decking material is I you know take a head gasket transfer that um, head gasket pattern onto the to the billet plate whatever size it's going to be and then cut it out extremely hard to do one inch uh, plate um, done a couple of these in the past and um, last time last block I did it actually took me two shots just to cut the thing out because uh, you know I was doing it pretty primitive with a sawzall and a jigsaw and recently purchased a bandsaw and just made a stand for the bandsaw so I was able to cut this a little bit easier and more square which definitely helps with um, the sanding I'm using a uh, belt sander 90 degree with a 90 degree um, right here that way it'll square everything up square up the edges you know you can see that lines perfectly straight across that shows that it's square but down here um, still haven't gone I've started going over it but you know haven't finished it out it takes you know I've been in sanding this thing for hours started this yesterday and today's day two and so where we're at now since this is a Tillotson block the dowel pin holes are different um, this is crescent shaped instead of square like the GX200 and this hole the oil galley is actually moved over more. They've kind of moved everything out of the way um, for the three inch bore. This one doesn't have the sleeve in it. But the head gasket that I use to reference uh, and to make the template um, was just a GX200 style block and it's different. So um, we've ordered a Tillotson head gasket. Um, the Tillotson head gasket will have all the reposition holes in it, give us a better template. I don't want to cut any of this stuff out. Um, one of the really hard parts is actually referencing these holes. You need to get these holes um, pretty much spot on. You can There's a little play in it, but as you can see, there's really not much material. You don't want to be off, say, an eighth inch when you drill that hole. Now, this, now the bolts aren't going to bolt into this. They're going to still bolt into the block and just go through this deck plate, but um, you still don't want to, you know, mess up with the holes. So we're going to get a Tillotson head gasket. It's already ordered and on the way. Um, you know, I'll probably just peel this off and uh, do a new template on it before I punch any holes and then we'll sleeve the block. We'll punch out this middle and then we'll put in the big three inch sleeve. So one inch deck extension, Tillotson block, three inch sleeve, three inch bore. Uh, Paul from Paul's Carts. Um, I'll give you guys a follow-up uh, when I have one. And until next time, guys, have a nice day.